Whoa. Welcome to Whitby! Today we're exploring the popular seaside town of Whitby. Lovely day for it! Known for its stunning coastline, unusual history and award-winning fish and chips. We're showing you the top five unmissable things to do on a day out in Whitby. No matter the weather, <laughs> no matter the weather. <laughs> We have arrived in Whitby. And as you can see, it is a beautiful day amongst this heat wave we are having. Red warning for extreme heat. The heart of England, today hotter than the Caribbean. Red extreme heat warning has come into force. Or not quite. It's bloody freezing. Yeah, as I'm sure a lot of you can relate, it's normally very drizzly and a horrible day when you're here at the British seaside, so it is what it is. But we are going to make the most of it anyway. We're off to our first stop of the day, which is Whitby Abbey. Which is right behind us here, 199 steps. Let's go. All right, so we've made it to the bottom of the 199 steps, which are very, very famous here in Whitby, and they lead all the way up to Whitby Abbey. They were once made out of wood, but now have been converted into stone. People are still a bit unsure as to whether there actually is 199 steps, but it is tradition to count, so should we count on the way up, Gaz? Let's do it. Eesh. Eesh. Very nice views here out onto the harbour. Oh, we've lost count again. 26, you're on. What are you on? Well, I'm on two bullets low. <coughs> we made it. So doing the 199 steps and then coming up here to look at St Mary's Church and also of course Whitby Abbey is one of the top tourist attractions here in Whitby and cannot be missed, you have to come and do this. There's also a stunning walk the whole way around which gives beautiful scenery down on the town and the harbour as well. Here is St Mary's Church, founded in the 12th century and famous for its links to seafarers like Captain Cook and as a setting for the famous Dracula novel. This place can get pretty spooky at night. Whitby Abbey is known for being one of the most atmospheric visitor attractions along the Yorkshire coastline. This historical landmark has captivated writers, artists and photographers with its stunning views and is jam-packed full of history. So we we did have a look around the outside of the Abbey, which was really, really nice. I think it is £12.40 to get in, or around about that, and we decided that our money is probably better spent elsewhere than going inside. Just for today. Just, yeah. for, just for today, but overall, it was really worth it, like walking up, having a look around the cliffs, having a look around the outside. You'll see some shots of Abbey trying to get some sneaky footage over the wall of the Abbey, which is quite <laughs> funny. Abbey on Abbey. Almost killed myself, basically. But yeah, it was definitely well worth it and one of the top things to do I think I think the best bit of it is just to walk up the steps and have a look around the outside isn't it yeah beautiful scenery for sure but anyway on to the next stop okay so the weather's taken a turn for the worst so the number two thing to do is to get some fish and chips so there's a lot of controversy about what the best fish and chip shop in Whitby is. You look on all of the signs, we're the best fish and chip shop, on TripAdvisor, longest fish and chip shop, but Abby's dad swears by this one, doesn't he? Yeah, and we go to it every single time, and it actually is the best rated on TripAdvisor. It's not number one, but there's more reviews for the oh, amount she of goes. stars there is. This is, and this it is, is what they're unreal. like. So we're heading to the Magpie. I am so hungry. Let's go. And there's usually a queue down here and all the way along. The made it into the map. And the iconic part of it is they have pictures of Whitby on their placemat. <laughs> I love it. The Magpie Cafe was recently deemed the best fish and chip shop in the country by National Geographic. With freshly caught fish the size of your forearm, homey interior, extremely friendly staff, it's easy to see why. It was actually passed down through generations, which has meant it's kept a family-run kind of atmosphere, but also feels slightly more premium than a traditional chippy. 
The menu is extensive and is sure to have something on there for everyone. When I was younger, my parents would drive the long journey to Whitby just for fish and chips at the Magpie. Yeah. We are currently crouched behind a wall to stop from the wind. Hiding from the lovely weather. But we finished up the magpie and it was as good as always. It was bloody lovely. The service is great and it's actually a family run business which is lovely. The food's really really good and uh, the company. Not so much, eh? Not so much. In agreement there. <laughs> anyway, we thought we'd go for a nice little stroll along the beach to burn off our fish and chips in this delightful weather. <laughs> One thing that you can't do when you go to a British seaside town, no matter the weather, <laughs> no matter the weather, <laughs> is check out the beach. actually two beaches here in Whitby. There is Tate Hill Beach which is where we are now just down from the Abbey which is a much more quiet and secluded beach. You can see people like I think looking for crabs in the background and I've got loads of childhood memories of being on this beach because my mum preferred it because it was quieter. Obviously it's raining right now but yeah we'll head on to the other beach now as well. Okay, so the second but the most popular beach here at Whitby is Westcliff Beach and that's because of the massive cliff that is right behind me now sheltering the humongous beach and it's on the west but also what's great is if it's not a great day like today the cliffs actually cover the beach so there's less wind so you get like more shelter here and also if it's sunny then you know great to sunbathe there is a lot to look at on the beach as well there are some surfers out there today which me and Gaz are going to go have a little look at aren't we Gaz? Let's go. Going to get your uh, surfer board might out? might just go for a cheeky dip in the sea. Yeah but you can't come to a seaside town without coming to the beach can you? So you have to come here and experience it. It is actually a really pretty beach so let's go have a look. Okay, so one of the other popular things to do here is to go to one of the traditional sweet shops which is my parents used to always take me after we went out for our fish and chips and it's a great thing to take get in the car on the way home to have a munch on get the train but yeah it's really cool to see like a really old school traditional sweet shop and i would highly recommend going into one of them we're on our way to the same sweet shop that abby goes to every time yeah so i have tried to get her to go to a different one but she's not having any of it no it she has to be the to same every this time one or they don't taste the same apparently yeah exactly but it's just down here i think what do you fancy i always get millions but it's not very uh, traditional is no, it no what about like murray mints no what are you gonna get I'm gonna, get I'm gonna get a million i want just some like get fruit some sweets to suck you just want some fruit sweets yeah all right let's, let's go in yeah, anyway. Alright, thank you. Hi, right. Williams would be great. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Thank you. Right, the final thing that we have on our top agenda today is to go on a boat. Woohoo! I've been very, very excited. I just seem to like boats for some reason and always end up on them. Yeah, we do love a good boat tour, don't we? We do. And we have been waiting all day for the rain to stop this, but it's a perfect way to see Whitby that you wouldn't usually see from walking around from different angles. And of course, it's famous for its boats as well. So let's go hop on, shall we? Let's do it. Ahoy! That's our boat right there, guys. Oh, 
Where do you want to sit? The back or the front? Yeah, I don't think there's any. All right, so we got one. It was five pound per person. You can pay by card for this one. There is the Captain Cook experience, which is meant to be really good. However, it was shut today, and that's a little bit more pricey. But I think you get to the same stuff, it's just a different kind of boat. A 20 minute boat ride, five pound each. So yeah, didn't the Captain in. Cook one say, open in in July, shut on this one day in yeah, July? Yeah, one day. Just like in like big black bold writing, shut today. Yeah. And we're like, isn't that the date today? So it's your choice which one you go on, but I think we're I've done a couple and they're pretty much all the same. I've In the distance you can see the Captain Cook statue and whale bones, two iconic landmarks in Whitby. The only part of the day that we're blessed with some good weather for right now, but it's the only day and part of the day you really need some good weather because it's not, boat trip's not fun in the rain really is it? But yeah, it looks beautiful now, sunshine, nice warm weather. And the guy is now giving us some fun facts about Whitby, which we already knew. But good vibes as well. You, you missed know, out the good vibes. Good vibes always. Eating our sweets. Happy days. Whitby scenery is just something else, with the terracotta roofed houses, beaches, and Abbey on the Hill. No matter the weather, the town is literally stunning. just got off the boat trip. It was a good time. Yeah, it was I enjoyed very good. it. 20 minutes, very fun. Got some good scenery, didn't we? It was a nice way to round off our lovely, glorious, sunny day in Whitby. Do you know what? We were so lucky. 20 minutes of sunshine and now look at the weather. So it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah, jo mean... jokes aside, it has been a very, very good day despite the awful weather. But <laughs> I've actually really enjoyed it. I think this is my third time here. Yeah, no, I, well, I've been here about... Abby's been here about 500 times. But yeah, that's why I said the top five things to do. I, they're from my opinion, because I've been here a lot of times. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the things that we do and you go and enjoy them as well. Yeah, so we've really enjoyed our day. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week for next week's adventure. Bye! Au revoir.